I don't know if this one are good news to some people, but I know this is a bad news to some people because I've seen a lot of comments who are accusing me of being biased concerning this particular woman matter. Well, very unfortunately and fortunately for some people who like this kind of news and some people may they don't like this kind of news. I'm speaking from both mouths. Fortunately and unfortunately for some people, this woman has been arrested by the Canadian authority and this has been confirmed by the Canadian police themselves. So it is not story, story, story. Just like the one we reported the other time. This has been confirmed that patient Ambaka has been arrested and she's currently under investigation if she will actually carry out such threats or not at her workplace now i do not want well she asked for what she got though well getting arrested in some society will definitely speak bad of you criminal records it will affect you in job application in social activities and so many other things so i do not know if that's exactly what she was looking for. Because, indeed, Nigerians over here cannot do you anything. But then again, those people over there can do you something. They can stain your record. In fact, you stained your records. You stained them. There are ways to say harsh words without saying, I want to poison people. Yeah. You can say, oh, I do not like this tribe. They are very biased. They are this and that. Finish. But by the time you start saying, I won't buy all of them. Those are harsh words now. We know what people will say. People like Asari Dukumbo, talker. People like this one, talker. Which I'm also advocating. Me, federal government, do what they can. Let them get those people arrested. I don't talk them before now. They deserve to be arrested. And jailed. So the woman has been arrested and uh, she is currently under investigation. We don't know what the outcome will be. Maybe a workplace, you know, other people know they waste time. I don't know where she they work. I know other people know they waste time. The say, ah, you have been sacked. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they act over there. Well, she has been arrested and it has been confirmed by Toronto police that the woman has been arrested. So she, she, should, be, she should have been more careful. Careful and cheerful. Hmm? But she just got herself in big trouble. She just got herself in big trouble. So that being said, let's talk about Chidema. Chidema crowned Miss Nigeria. Of course, we've already talked about that. But then again, South Africa, no arrest. And flavor, kind of like coming for Chidema. You know one thing about Miss, you, Miss anything Miss, Nigeria Miss pageant in this uh, country. Some big, big boys, they easily come for them. And Flavor has shown interest in Chidima. <laughs> you know, Flavor has dated former Miss Pageant before, about two for that matter. And uh, Chidima is the recent uh, Miss uh, Nigeria Universe. And guess what? Flavor already showing some major interest. But Flavor is one of the persons that I'm really advocating against. Consigning his outfit, his music is great. I love him, I'm a big fan. But his outfit, I am not a fan. And you don't know that one already. I am not a fan of Flavor's outfit. I'm not a fan of uh, Flavor's outfit. Someone said, congratulations to her. Please, professional advice. Avoid flavor number near. 
the flavor said flavor of Africa. I don't bite. She can come. She cannot avoid me. I don't bite. That's coming from flavor. Well, she's a human. She's a woman who is up to the age of being cutted. So if she allow the vultures in Nigeria to devour her, <laughs> you know say South Africa they led. <laughs> South Africa they led. They will devour you, show you money. But then again, she should pick her choice very well. She should be very, 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 very careful. As a Miss Pageant or being in any competition in Nigeria, Big Brother Nigeria, and you be and you be girl, and you become a little bit popular. As that popularity come, so vultures come. Who want to at least know what you taste like? That is how it is. That is how it is. They are just men like that. They want to know what the top. They are after the top. See, they are after the top meat of the society. They don't look whether whether you find pass fine and you don't get any form of fame. Nobody know you. You are not attracted, uh, attractive, attractive to them. But as long as you get little fame and people know you, they want to test what you get. Yes, they don't make it their own life achievement. For the money made, they don't make. They say, I want to test as many as famous women in my country. That is what they do. That is what they have boasted on. That this, the, the money I've made, this is what it's used for. That is why some of them will buy house. They will buy cars for women. They don't care. Where you go, they think about how much you go spend for a restaurant for girl. It don't they pay you for body. Then eh, they cannot decide to give. Whether they collect or they don't collect, or you know, go pay them. So, such men reside in Nigeria. There are many abundantly. So, if you are Chidima, you are famous now in Nigeria. Know where you go, maybe they will know your face. <laughs> so, as that thing comes, so vultures are just roaming about around you. So be ready to collect. But make sure say you collect the one meal will benefit you. Like you collect the one meal you will chop. You say, yes, I collect, I eat, I am okay. Then say you go collect the one meal will give you heartbreak. Don't think about heartbreak. Just collect, 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 chop your money. But let's talk about the crown. South Africa don't want, do not want to let us rest. South Africa now has dug up uh, some uh, issues concerning the crown. They say the crown is just worth 76 rands. And 76 rand convert to Nigeria currency. Let me do the conversion, guys, because I have not done the conversion. 76, 76 rands to Naira. That is about 6,770 Naira. Now they take buy to the mark crown. <laughs> okay, let us just put a round figure, 7,000 error. Ah, that we can do, do those organizers. Ah, see, and it looks exactly the same. 7,000 error, now they did buy that crown. Sister, that's all the assault in error, but the round figure, 7,000 error. Now they did buy that crown. Ah, bah. Mona take an abba at least spend hundred thousand now for a crown now. Spend hundred thousand or two hundred thousand for a crown. Ah, Mona try now. What for you now? Now what for you now? Now don't see any other expensive. They see other expensive one. Oh, they went for the lowest. <laughs> the lowest. <laughs> ah, ah, but. South Africa has dragged us concerning that particular crown and they have made all sorts of uh, crazy comments including this guy. May I be here with you, this guy talks here. My children, it's just a shame that you people give your Miss Universe to Chidima. Chidima that does not know whether he is a South African or a Nigerian. 
that does not speak. Can you people tell me which dialect is Chidima speaking? Can she speak Igbo? You people carry your Miss Universe and gave it to Chidima just because you, I don't know whether it's because South Africa was contesting with you people or on that or what. You people should give who is befitting. Hey, where did Chidima do auditions to be to represent Taraba? A very few people will be saying uh, Tinubu has stolen an election. Look at the little one that they have given you people to manage. Look at how you people have messed it up. Yeah. I'm not saying that Chidima is not supposed to win or is supposed to win, but from every indication is showing that this there was something this there is something that is not is not straight. Yes. How can you just invite somebody, a person just come and represent the state? Normally, before yes, the, you are selected for the state, there was supposed to be uh, the interstate uh, uh, selection before you can represent the state. That is how other contestants did. But Chidima just came from South Africa, flew into Nigeria, represented Taraba State, and now she is winning. I don't understand. Is this how this thing is supposed to be? Well, the question, I think this guy is from Ghana. He speaks like Ghana, like a Ghanaian. The question you should ask yourself first is that, is Chidima a Nigerian? Does he have a Nigerian trait? Like, is there any trace of a Nigerian in her? That's the question. Yes. And you say she doesn't know if she's from South Africa or Nigeria. <laughs> South Africa says she's not from South Africa. Are you are still saying she doesn't know. South Africa says she is not a South African. That she forged a passport. And we in Nigeria say, come over here. South Africa didn't send if she was a toddler when that so called story of her mother forging a, a passport for her. She, they didn't care about that. They just say she's not a South African. So, what, a, what is the game? It's just that other countries are pained, you know why? Because their country will not cover them as much as Nigeria has covered Chidema. The same way we are going to cover any other black person. We have told you before, it's only Nigeria you come to eh, as a black person. Eh? Your passport is not relevant as soon as you leave that airport. Your passport is no longer relevant. As, as long as you don't work out, you don't ever go to Nigeria, they say immigration services are working, going house to house to root out an illegal immigrant. I've never heard of such thing before in my life. People come over here to live freely, trade freely, stay freely. Only in Nigeria can that happen. Only in Nigeria. Just get that idea straight. Then, before you start talking about why we are set at Chidima. Hmm?